Hi, I'm Amy Howard. Today I want to show you the different tools that you can get to be able to paint your furniture with with the One Step. But I also want you to understand the different looks that each one of those tools is going to give you. So the first thing I want to be able to go over, here I've got my cabinet door right here in front of me. And I've made sure that I've cleaned it with Simple Green first. Make sure on the bottle that it doesn't say concentrate. You want to make sure that you thin it correctly with water. And then secondly, I came back on top of it with some water and dried it off really well. So now it's ready for me to actually paint. I've chosen um, A Good Man is Hard to Find. It's one of our most popular gray colors. And I've got these different tools in front of me here that I want to go over with you. The first thing that you're going to notice, a lot of people do like to roll their paint on, and that's great. But my suggestion would be not to use one of the fuzzy rollers. You need to use just a low synthetic foam roller. That's going to give you a better application, but you're going to have to be careful when you're actually rolling. It's going to go more sheer. Remember, we're painting with a chalk-based paint product. We're not painting with a latex or an acrylic based paint. The looks are totally different. So you're going to have to apply it differently and I'm going to show you the look. It is going to be bumpier. It's not going to be a smooth finish like you're going to get with a brush. But I definitely would not use um, this fuzzier application. The second thing is a lot of people use foam brushes. I really don't recommend using these because you're going to get these built up edges on your project. So let's don't use this. The other thing that you can use are our hog hair brush. Now there's a caveat with this. I want you to know that this holds a lot of paint and if you're going to do an application it's going to be very thick and it may not be as smooth as you're wanting. I tell people when you're using a round brush you are not going to brush it on horizontally or vertically but you probably are going to want to brush in a cross hatching motion and then thin it out. If this is your first or second time in painting furniture, I would not recommend using this for the paint, but I would use it for the waxes. The china bristle brushes are great for our light antique wax, our clear wax, and of course our dark antique wax. So today my preference for you is going to be just a very small, maybe a two inch or a two and a half inch synthetic brush. This is gonna lay the paint down really smooth, and it's going to be really easy for you to be able to control. So I'm going to dip this in my paint. I was careful to stir this very well with a stir stick um, before I started. I'm going to offload it just a little bit. And then as you see that I'm laying this down, I'm going to be overlapping it as I'm working on it. It's really important too that you're working in an area that you've got good lighting that you can see what it is that you're doing and you look how I'll come back and I'll feather over this just a little bit now remember this is called one step not one coat so if I'm working on an old piece of wood like this one I'm gonna probably want to apply two coats but I don't have to sand in between so look how I'm look how I'm applying this I'm coming back and as I'm brushing it on I'm feathering it out. So it's really great here. It's, it's laying down nice and even. But I'm all the time looking at it to where maybe there's a drip or where I need to come back and feather in my paint. So it's easy as that. So make sure that you remember the type of tool that you choose is going to give you a different application. And if you do want to spray it, a lot of people say when I'm painting my kitchen cabinets, I want to be able to use an airless sprayer. You can, but we do want you to look for the directions on the airless sprayer about how much you need to thin it. As a rule, 10 to 15 percent um, thinning it with water, of course, is the easiest thing to do. Now remember, in cleaning up my brush, I'm going to use soap and water and I'm ready to go. Thank you and enjoy the bragging rights.